this is the um, painting, water painting that we're doing this time. And it's a very simple drawing. This is what it looks like in the end. And we'll start out with our watercolor paper. And uh, lightly with your pencil, you can do the four squares. And so the outside, I don't know if you can see this. I'm just drawing a shape like this on square number two, square number one. Square number three, I'm going to draw a shape like this to put the flowers in. So I'm just doing a, a, a circular shape, and I'll have a flower in square two and th square three. Um, I'm going to draw with my Sharpie so that you can see what I'm drawing. So with that circular shape, I can work on the inside with repetitive ovals like this. And we're doing a water lily, and it's repetitive oval petals with the uh, center of stamen, yellow stamen. I'll put those in in a minute. So I'm just doing a quick sketch here with my Sharpie so that you can see. And uh, this teaches the kids about not only uh, watercolor, but repetition, uh, composition. So I have that there. I'm going to go ahead and square number three and draw this again under within this shape. Repetition in a circular motion. Repetition. So I'm just putting in these shapes. It's a little heart shape there. And I'm going to put the stamen in with, and I'm using, a, you're going to outline with a Sharpie as well when you're done drawing this. And I would use the fine Sharpie, not the ultra fine. Uh, it really just goes quicker. Okay, so I have my flowers drawn. And then I'm going to put the big leaves here. I'll put a big leaf here. I'm going to put one here. I'm just putting oval shapes here. And then a leaf here. So there's my drawing. Then you erase the pencil marks, and what I'll do is just draw one flower. I'll paint one flower. I don't know that I'll have time to do two. So I'll start up here with this flower. You always start with your lightest color first uh, in watercolor. I, uh, here's a hint. With the students, you may want to, I have found out that if I make pools of water in their colors, we're going to be using red, blue, green, and yellow. Um, it helps so that they, they don't dig. And they have a tendency to dig and dig and dig and uh, use no water whatsoever. So explain to them it's important to have a little pool of water in each of their colors. So watch, I'm gonna put a little pool of water here in the yellow. I swirl it around. I call it butterfly kiss your paint with your paintbrush, very lightly. And then I'm gonna go inside and do the stamen first with yellow because that's the lightest color. And then I use the same yellow. I'm going to put some highlights in my leaves because you want a little bit of variegation in your leaves. So put some highlights there. And let's see where else do I want highlights? That's it. So there's my yellow. I wish I didn't have all these eraser marks on here. So next, I'm going to use, I'm going to work my way up. So the next color I'm going to use is red. And notice that I have inside the red a pool of water. You need to because we want to make this kind of a pink color. So there's a little pool of water, like a little swimming pool. And then I'm going to put this at the bottom. That's actually too much red. But I'm going to put this at the bottom of each petal, leaving the tips white. And you can water this down with water like this. I have a cup of water here. Just water it down to make it pink. Or if they want it nice and red, they can. But just leave those tips light. Same thing down here. I got my pool of water. I dip my brush in the water, and I put my brush in the pool of red water, and I Basically, just draw out the bottom like this. I'm doing the bottom of each leaf, or petal, I'm sorry.
leaving the tips white for the lotus blossom or the flower. Okay. Okay, that's simple. Now I'm going to go over, I'm going to go to my next color, which is green, and you also want a puddle of water in your green. So I have this little swimming pool of green here, and I, go, I just paint, I mass in the green for the leaves, for all the leaves. Real easy. I use only one brush. You don't need it different size brushes for this. It's real simple. Coloring it in, water, dip in the swimming pool of green. Always make sure your brush is wet in water first, swimming pool with green, and then on to the, the leaf. Let's pretend that I got all my leaves painted. The next color will be blue. I gotta have my swimming pool of blue. Make sure my brush is loaded with water. Dip into the pool and I'm gonna start putting blue in the water in the negative space between the green and the flowers. One secret for the kids is to stay away from their flowers and leaves by just leaving painting in the center first. Then they can go back later and narrow it if they want to or just leave it plain. Watercolor is so nice. You can be so loose with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So if they're if you're afraid they're going to get into everything else, just have them leave space around the positive, which is the leaves and the flower. And then you just finish that up and you have, when you're done, you have your watercolor botanical drawing painting.